The Christian church in Britain was now the sanctuary of learning and knowledge and would in time become the school of politics as well. Then suddenly, in the 8th century, a violent burst of conquering energy appeared in Scandinavia and surged across the North Sea, the Vikings. The seven small kingdoms of England were in a turmoil, their rulers in disarray, as one by one they went down before this merciless scourge, until in the year 878, the young Prince Alfred assumed the throne of the Wessex folk. A peace was made, the peace was broken, and made again. Then the Danes inflicted a terrible defeat upon the men of Wessex. Alfred fled into the desolate marshlands of Athelney, and here he planned a future of order and enlightenment, and dreamed of how he would bring this about. Churchill describes it thus. We see Alfred, disguised as a minstrel. We see him acting as kitchen boy to a Saxon housewife. Low were the fortunes of the once ruthless English. Must. I'll carry you. No. Get on my back. Move. Oh, I'm cold. There's high ground over there where the trees are. Oh, Father. Who are you? I'll carry you to the trees. Oh, Wolfric. Wolfric, please be brave. Ask. God, to dry up the swamp. I cannot. You can. Get up. As far as the trees. Oh, God. Then a baby. Um, you were in battle. <sighs> Wolfric, if you were not my friend and servant, but a swineherd whom I knew not at all, and you lay in a fever when I happened to ride past, and your neighbours cried out, pray for this sick man, in those circumstances, Wolfric, it would be right, even proper, for me to pray, and perhaps by some miracle your fever would... Can you hear me? My lord. I cannot. You have the power. Very well, then. Oh, Lord God, our Heavenly Father, I pray now for a miracle. Heal this man's wound. Oh, Lord God, I 
am Alfred, King of Wessex. Dry up these marshes. Return me in a twinkling to my palace and my servants and my hunting dogs and my dear wife and my books and my jewels and my warming fires and the flattery of my inferiors. Whilst my eyes are closed, dear God, kill every Dane that has invaded my kingdom. Amen. If this miracle be granted, I will release twenty slaves and give two jewels to the Abbey Church at Winchester. Amen. A gold. Dear God, I thank you for demonstrating to this faithful servant that miracles of a personal and political nature are wrought not by thee, but by men who find the power in themselves. If I am not too weak, replace that power in me. Amen. Amen. I'm cold. May I make a tent with my cloak? Uh, uh, oh. Support. You can. Don't kill me. What do you want? <laughs> Who are you? What? Nay. Hair face. Come to hut. Dry floor. He talks Saxon like us. Jesus Christ, amen. Virgin Mary, St. Cuthbert, amen. Jesus Christ, hail Mary. Christian. Eels? Oh, you set traps. Hoover? Kill him. No. I don't trust him. No, he's inferior, but he is one of us. Christian. Oh, Christian. Where's your lord? Lord, your lord, who takes your rent and service? Dead. Who was he? Ethelnoth. He's not dead. Dead. How? Oh. Danes. When? Hmm. He's a liar. Kill him. Heels. My heart. Over. Stomach. It's very painful. 
You. We can't eat anymore. I'm mad. Help Mary, I'm mad. Amen. Fame, Ethel North, is not dead. He might be. Ah, he fled like us. Perhaps. This hair face, he's a runaway slave. She could be. He's Welsh, isn't he? One of our captives. He hates us. We must trust him. Kill him. No. The Danes kill. Must we be like them? Is that the way to win? <coughs> Leave me and go. No. Oh. Leave together in the morning. You can't leave. I can. How? You ask sincerely for a miracle. I cannot. My talisman contains a cutting from St. Finbar's fingernail. Oh, Frick, I will not leave you. That would not be Christian. <sighs> you. Come here. You can guess who we are? We are two thanes of King Alfred's host. The host was defeated and scattered. We have lost our horses. We do not believe that at this time of the year the Danes will pursue us across the marshes. Our own Saxon people have settlements on the other side. If we reach them, we are safe. Have you heard of the Thane Otter? Otter! <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Otter! How far is this hall from here? Over. <laughs> Two days? Oh, God. He expects us. If you take him a message. Me? You. <laughs> he will send men Eels. to carry my companion. What? Eels! Eels? Hmm. Oh. I will empty your eel traps. <laughs> I can learn. Your women can teach me. <laughs> He's alive! Dead! Alive!
We trust you. Amen. 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 Do it, can you? Yes. No, you can't. Yeah, yes, I can. Give it to you. Come on. You watch the fire. Oh, yes. My hands are so cold. Oh, just watch the fire. I am. Give us a stick. Stick? Your mother must have seen a moon calf. Moon calf? Oh, you mean that's why I'm so clumsy? Can't mend him for ice. Fire! Fire? Oh, yes, the uh, fire. Where's she gone? Set the trap. Oh. You in the battle, was you? Yes. King Alfred dead, is he? Alfred? We heard he was dead. Heard? Who from? Well, anyhow. Him's beaten and who cares? Don't you? No. Why not? Well, what's he done for me? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing? No. He might have done a lot. He might have worked with all his heart for peace. What good if I'm dead? What good? Don't be stupid. My father sold me for a slave, didn't he? Sold you? Yes. Why? I too. Crops failed. Old his lord rent money, didn't have none. So he sold me. Well, is that King Alfred's fault? No. No? So where's your argument? I didn't do nothing to stop it, did I? Well, how could he? Some free some slave. That's how God made the world. If the crops failed, it was the weather. Who makes weather? God. So what's God done for me? You can't say that. Why not? You know why not. Don't you? That legs. Oh, well, if you can't answer... Who say I can't? God loves you. He loves every living thing. He does. He's a loving father. So is the king. If he is a good king, that is. My father sold me. You don't want to understand. You'd sooner be stupid. Your friend dying. What? I'd say yes. Hold your tongue. Are you runaway slaves? Does him know him's dying? Answer me. Turn the cakes. Cakes? Hey, you burned yourself. I haven't. Yes, you have. I have not. What are you doing then? What do it look like? I'm not stupid. I'm not. I won't be called him. I didn't say you were. You did say him. Well, I didn't mean it. You did. I lost my temper. You don't know how I live. I don't. Does King Alfred? No. Uh, he doesn't. So then, so then I say let him man traps. He can't. My lord. I... Hey. What's him say? No, nothing. Oh. Em said about his law. No, he's rambling. He thinks he's in the battle. Oh. Shh. Oh. Shh. Oh. Fat legs. The, the king may not know how you live. 
He may be a fool with his hands, but he does know his duty. His duty is to protect you, to know what is best for you. He makes decisions. He fights in the shield wall. In return, he has estates, money, plowshares. That is, he did have them till the Danes took them. Uh, the estates are God's token, which is why the king has given many of his jewels to the church. He has freed many slaves. On certain holy days each year, he always frees one house slave. Then he is much moved by the voices of the choir in his church. And then he lies with his wife beneath fur rugs. The fire still glows. How good life seems. How well we have behaved. How we deserve to go to heaven. What? What's she talking about? Some of the king's doubts. His own tall or what? Tallish. Like you. Well, uh, he's ill much of the time, but the way in which he overcomes his complaint makes him feel smug. Complaint. So, yes. So he drives himself harder for what he calls his kingdom's good. What's complaint? What's wrong with him? Oh. But in truth, he does know what is best for the kingdom. What is wrong with him? What? Oh, you uh, won't laugh. No. <laughs> well, he suffers from constipation. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> I, know, I know, it's funny. No wonder if wants some slaves back. Well, he doesn't want the back for himself. He doesn't. When he was a boy, he went to Rome. Huh? Rome. What's Rome? It's a place. Oh. It's a city with stone buildings. Cross the marshes? No, across the sea. Oh. Britain is an island. Did you know that? No. Well, it is. Now, uh, Alfred didn't go to Rome because he was king. Alfred wasn't king, his brother was king. Alfred never expected to be king, never wanted to be king. But when his brother died, the Thanes and the army elected Alfred. Elected. It was during the war with the Danes. Now, how could he refuse? He couldn't, could he? Because he knew that under Rome, the whole world was at peace. Huh? There could be peace all over Britain. See, a small island divided into many little kingdoms must be weak. It must be, mustn't it, so long as the Danes can rampage against a lot of little kingdoms. But suppose one kingdom became strong. Suppose one kingdom led the others. The Danes might be checked and people might live in peace. What's that? Oh, don't stop. Oh, something's burning. Oh, don't stop him talk. Well, the cakes. Huh? I've burned the cakes. Oh, mine am on. Oh, well, we have some more meal. Uh, Wolfric has some. Em's only one bird. You eat em. Is your head clear? Uh, where's the meal? <laughs> Look. No. Oh, please take it. It's oatmeal. Em's only one bird. Now, take it. No. Why not? You will need him. Me? Escape. Escape? Him said he'd kill me. Him? Her face. What about him? Him went other way. Other way? Escape. Talk sense, girl. Her face. Didn't want to say neither. Him went to Danes. Danes. I told you to kill him. Him sold you. Poor man. You must escape. I won't leave you. You must. I'll kill you. Never. Wolfric. I have the cutting from St. Finbar's fingernail. St. Fingernail is not going to save you. Yes, it will. You've been my sword bearer for ten years. You must escape. 
Yes. No long farewells? No. Goodbye. Hey! <laughs> what about me? What about you? Can I have ring? Ring? Him last night got ring. Oh. What happened when they kill a man is they take all them gear and I get uh. nothing. But here I want. Mm -hmm. Don't understand him. But the way him talk, we him talk, I fly him. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh! 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 Finbar, by your fingernail, save me. Come, Shin. Finbar. Alfred. Yes, my dear. Are you in pain? Are you happy? Yes. Yes. What a miracle finding you and the children safe with Oda. Yes. What's the matter? Nothing. Yes, there is. There isn't. That tone of voice. You swear. If I can't make you happy, why don't you say so? You swear. Well, why don't you? Why don't you? You never face these things. They're obvious to me, but you won't face them. I learn very slowly. That's not what I mean. It's what I mean. A practical man would have left Wolfric to die on the battlefield. It was obvious then that his wound was too bad. Don't cry. I'm sorry. Poor Wolfric. I'm very selfish. No. It's me who cannot make you happy. Hold me. Midwinter set back, we did very well against the Danes. We did. Yes. But now, well, now I'm a hunted pauper. I haven't a house of my own or a shilling of income. Your fame support you? For the moment. of the Danes. I wish they had our patience. They're not farmers like we are. No. They want to be. But their land is so poor that they're driven to fight. They must be tired. Hmm? Tired. I'll go to sleep. No, I can't. I can't stop thinking about them. Mm. Guthrum and his Danes. 
They're in our mansions, living off our winter stores. I must find out how tired they are. Saxons were attacking. Who'd be dead in his sleep? You lazy, slobbering, fornicating, wet-eyed saltfish. I'll go back to your post. Who is that boy? Eric Blue Jewel. Old Eric, son. Yeah. No sense of humor. No. Neither had his father. And neither of you. You drunken jellyfish. <laughs> You're one as once! See Why can't you laugh at yourselves? Ah, go back to sleep. You heard the yarl go thump. Sleep! Olaf. Lord. Why aren't you laughing? Lord. That false alarm was a good practical joke, Olaf. The expressions on their faces, it was very comical. Why didn't we laugh? Hmm. Why didn't we enjoy it more? We used to laugh. <laughs> we did. We used to laugh all the time. And I put that diseased old woman in your bed instead of the young one. I laughed all through the battle the next day. So did you. I remember. Yeah, you laughed. All through the battle. <laughs> so did I. Oh. Well, what's the matter? Oh, I'm dizzy. Dizzy? Yeah, poor Olaf. You know what you were. the minstrel. Minstrel! <laughs> Lord <Goodfellow>. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Did you think it was comical? False alarm! Well, uh, ah, he's a Saxon. They've got no sense of humor at all, eh? Uh, <laughs> uh, go back to sleep, Olaf. He's not what he was. Olaf. In the last battle against you Saxons, the one that defeated Wessex Alfred and entirely displayed my uh, military genius, eh? <laughs> I mean, where is Alfred? Dead? Hiding? <laughs> Where is he? What was I saying? Olaf? Oh, Olaf. Hit on the head. Flight of a battle axe squashed his helmet, blood from his ears. Not been himself. No? No. It was comic in moderation. What? The false alarm. Oh. oh. Hmm. <laughs> 
Is it, uh, is it true that uh, your Wessex Alfred has uh, permanent constipation? Yeah. If he's still alive. Yeah. That's very comical. Possibly. Not laughing though, are we? No. Seen you before somewhere. Have you? Yes. I sang at King Alfred's court when you negotiated the treaty. When he brought us off, you mean? And as soon as he could, he raised an army and attacked us. Your raiding parties attacked first. Alfred attacked! Well, you stole his land. <laughs> We've stolen half of Britain, if you could call it stealing. Don't you? No. And if you cheat me, I'll smash your face in. <laughs> well, it's just that... I suppose, being a Saxon, I'd call it stealing. I call it putting to better use. Clear the forest, start trade. I mean, all you do is sit in monasteries and abuse yourselves. Oh, ah, man. don't make the usual moan about rape and massacre. Until we arrived, you hardly knew there was Europe. Well, we know there's a land beyond Europe. Yeah. Sail south to the lands of the sun and see the cities there. What wealth and what brains! What a sight. Yeah. I've seen things. You wouldn't grin it. So has Alfred. Alfred Bilgewater. He saw Rome once. Ha! Alfred. <laughs> he blathers on about peace and forgiveness, but what he really means... Are those not ideals, even if men are animals? What he really means... Might there not be laws which, if obeyed, would make love more likely? What he really means is that he, he wants his jewels and his power back. Just that I want better land than there is in Denmark. And yet we all have some striving towards love. Yeah, this, this is good land, and I've won it. And in the spring, I'll fetch my wife from East Britain. So, you'll spend the rest of your days here. <laughs> I hope so. You must be tired. Tired? To want to die of bone ache like a plowman. In my bed on good land. No Valhalla. Valhalla. Isn't that your religion, Lord Guthrum? I told you I'd smash your face in. <coughs> Only those who die in battle win a true immortality. They fall sticky with blood in the shield wall. And the roaring they hear is not that of berserk men or their own brains on fire. It is the roar of eternal waterfalls. And through the spray, they see the rainbow bridge. They start to cross. The spray refreshes them. Their swords are no longer too heavy to lift. Their swords are light and lovely as feathers. And when the warriors enter one of the great halls, 600 doors, they're young again. And they carouse forever. And the wine never fuddles their wits. But for the rest, the inferior people, the slaves, and the women, and the children, and the men drowned on a journey, and the men dead of the bone ache. What becomes of them? Where do they find their rest? I would have killed you once. Once? My lord. Throw him out! Throw him in my snow! Why didn't you kill him? Why didn't you? What? I said, why didn't you? I'm dizzy. Have it all time. 
fired. Out of strength. They are tired. They're exhausted. They're weary of blood, of wading ashore through the waves, of mud in their wounds, of hurt men whimpering. And because they have no true or sensible ideal, even if that ideal is an illusion, they cannot recover their energy. I have stolen it. If the militia answer my call, I can surprise and shatter Guthrum. Columns of men, my lord. The militia. Guthrum, having, from the love of our people, fortified a camp beyond the marshes, having surprised and defeated you because you lost the will to attack, having recovered our manners, fishweirs, properties and industries, having reasserted our rent rolls, rebuilt our churches, having raised a fleet to protect our shores from your pirates, having in sum regained and entirely secured our kingdom, we find you and your remnants at our mercy. We have no wish to kill you. Our religion forbids it. Our common sense deplores it. We can all live in peace in England. We can become, in time, not Viking and Saxon, Dane and Angle, but English. You know the terms. You accept Christianity. No, Olaf. You will retire to your earlier areas of settlement beyond London. You will sign treaties with us for trade and the return of runaway slaves. Let each keep his station. Good government is blessed by God. Not your God. We'll not accept your God. Olaf, my lord, how can there be peace? They want London. It's their frontier. They'll find excuses to attack us. You take no land, Olaf. Now live on it. Guthrum, you accept the terms? Yes. Olaf? We accept. Make us into good Christians. Well, order. Speak your news. My lord, it's the same as it's been every year since the treaty. Small groups of Danes still raid our villages. We ask Guthrum to stop them, but he seems unable. Guthrum is sick. Poor Guthrum. What strength he used to have. Most of the Danes are like us. They've got their land. They want peace and quiet. Yes, I know. Of course they do. It grieves me very much. But we must raise the host. We must capture London and make the rivers our frontiers. Smash them at last! We may be smashed ourselves. I don't fear that, my lord. I do, Oda. But I think that if we do our best, God favors us. What's your name? No. Your name? No. What's your bleeding name? I'm a Saxon like you. Open that fist. King Alfred said the war's over. He said that runaway slaves was to go back to their masters. The war's over. Well, it started again and we're winning. Yeah, open your fist. No. What's your name? Fat legs. <laughs> what? Cured. Hey, let's have a look at her legs then. No. <laughs> and open that fist. Bloody ring. You stole that ring. I didn't. Yes, you did. I didn't. Then where'd you get it? Free gift. Who from? Don't know her name. <laughs> I don't know his name. G gentleman. You don't know no gentleman. In the fence. Then you have run away. Saxon gentleman. Him tone like a bird. This ring's valuable. I saved him life. Tell us another. <laughs> I don't know who took it from you, either. We could have screwed her. She's horrible. 
What's that got to do with it? Get moving. No, I'm going to have her before she dies. Uh, Listen, uh, all we need is this ring. If we're not paid soldiers, we let the plowing undone, haven't we? Don't tell me what I need. Officers! You, get back in the column! Yes, Lord. Help! Oh, shut up! What's that? It's nothing, Lord. Dead civilian. I'll get back in the column. Move! They've got. Yes. We can't have found much loot on her. No. Come on, keep moving, keep moving! She reminds me of somebody. Who? A person with I'd hope. Guthrum was right. Guthrum? We credit our own animal survival with a noble purpose. My lord? Poor Guthrum. Listam sanctam functionem. My lord Guthrum, if you do not receive the holy sacraments and ask God's forgiveness for your sins, your immortal soul is in danger. My lord. Alfred. Captured London. Yes. Have they halted there? Who cares? <laughs> they were Alfred and Sir River for his frontier. <laughs> I could have killed him once. My lord, eternal bliss awaits you. He, he, he came in disguise. A minstrel. I didn't know it. <coughs> Can I have this bracelet when you're dead? My lord, uh, I warn you most sternly. Uh, Alfred. I'm more ruthless. Alfred, I, I should have, I, I should have, should have died in the shield war. No, you should not. I should have heard the roar of waterfalls. Can I have this bracelet? No. Why not? Because I say so. You bitch. You. you. Ego remissionem omnium peccatorum, tibi concaido, in nomine patris et filis et spiritus sancti. Amen. O Lord, O Lord, may the fighting now stop, O Lord, and may we all grow old in peace and quiet. Your eyes. I can see. No, you can't. It's the history of the world. I dare say. Are you in it? Well, I commissioned the book, so of course I'm in it. You're smiling. Am I? Do you enjoy being old? Do you? No. No. But then I didn't enjoy being young much either. Why not? 
I was too bookish. Too bookish? Yes. <laughs> Didn't learn to read till you were 40. What? All the same, I agree, you were too bookish. Hmm? I mean, you were aristocratic, but you weren't the sort of man to whirl a woman off her feet. Whirl a woman off her feet? Am I too decrepit to say that? Much. Well, you never did. Mm. I wish I had. Do you? Every day. My dearest love. It was the constipation. No, it wasn't. What? It was you. Eh? You're going deaf. What? Deaf! So are you! You know, sometime after you're dead, the King of Wessex will become King of all England. Death. What? Why shouldn't I be King when I'm deaf? No, not deaf. Dead! Oh. Oh, that's not much use. What? A dead king! <sighs> what does it mean, anyway? Hmm? After I'm dead! England will not be a wild nation. Carnations? England will be a Christian nation. Uh, Alfred, by the strength of his ideals and character, defeated the Danes, gave England a fleet, made England love learning and the law. Hmm. Even the Danes respect the liturgy. Oh, yes. The Danes had the energy, all right. Oh, dear. Please read to us. The lives of the saints are the most amusing. I wish I had. What? Swept you off your feet. Hmm? We're too old, my love. Much too old. Uh. I'll go to sleep soon. Uh. 